you guys, it's just Tiana. And if you're wondering why this quality is such garbage, it is because I am filming on my webcam. I know that is very, very ratchet. But here's the thing. My camera has been broken for literally I don't know how long. I've been trying to make a video for the past, like, couple weeks now. And for some reason, my camera keeps saying that the SIM card can't be read. So I don't know what's going on with that. And then I was going to film it on my phone. But I need my mother freaking phone to make this video. Why am I screaming? I'm talking very loud. Anyways, I needed my phone to do this video. And, yeah, I had no other option than to use my webcam, but I've been trying to make a video for, like, a while now, and I gotta get that content out here, out there, even though this is hardly content. I need to make more videos, so I'm just using my webcam, so I'm sorry the quality is garbage, but please just deal with it. But anyway, I am excited to play this game. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers playing this game, and it actually looks kind of weirdly fun in a boring, not fun kind of way. And I just want to see what my virtual little game life is about, so let's get started. Oh, I'm a boy. Okay. My name is Jason Campbell. I was born to Jack Campbell and Anita Campbell who are real estate agents and a restaurant worker. So, I guess maybe we're going to be, like, middle class. I don't know. Anyways, I'm decently happy, decently healthy. Actually, I'm very healthy. Okay, so starting off at one years old, I'm already suffering from croup or whatever. I don't even know what that is. Okay, so now I am 15 years old, and a girl named Kiara Groper asked me out. Yes. Okay, she's like, she's 15, so am I. She's average looking. She's averagely smart. She's not crazy, so that's a good thing, even though, I mean, let's be real, we kind of like crazy. <laughs> Anyways, and she's averagely popular. So it looks like she's pretty average. She's, your, you know, your basic girl. Um, I mean, I guess let's go out with her. She cute. My girlfriend is pregnant. How old am I? 17? Do I keep the baby or get an abortion? No, I'm going to keep the baby because I want to see what goes on with that. Like, am I going to be a rich and successful teen parent or am I going to be homeless by the age of 19 and have to give my baby up for adoption and probably do drugs on the street somewhere? Let's see what happens. Oh, we had a baby boy. Okay. Um, I don't know what I'm going to name it. I don't want to name it David. I'm going to name it Ryder because I love Ryder Strong for Boy Meets World, my all-time favorite show. And I've always liked that name. So I'm going to name it Ryder with a Y. Because we're rebellious. Okay. Time to apply to college. I just had to sign. I have to get a good job. What should my major be? Um, it has to be something smart because we have to take care of our baby boy. Um, you know what? F it. I'm going to go into the music industry because let's become a successful rock star. Why not? I mean, if I fail, I only have a son and a wife to take care of. Anyway. Oh, I was rejected anyway, so cool. Your girlfriend, Kiara, asked you to marry her. You have been together for six years. I am the man. I got this girl pregnant at, like, freaking two years old, and she had to ask me to marry her? Get it, Kiara. She's getting her life together. What am I doing? I mean, yeah, I'm going to accept it. A woman who's taking... What? Let's get it, Kiara. Let's get married. Your fiancé, Kiara, is demanding you get married. You have been engaged for three years. Oh, my God. Is he okay? Um... You know what? I feel like... In the beginning, I was like, yes, Kiara, and still, good for her. Like, you go get it, girl. Get what you want. Get your man to marry you. But at the same time, I feel like my guy, 
I forget his name already, Jason, is trying to live his best life. I mean, he's trying to go to school. He's trying to get a job. He's trying to be a rock star. He's trying to raise his son. And she's trying to demand him to do stuff. And I'm not with it anymore. I'm going to, like, call off the engagement. Like, sorry, Kiara, but we got to become Harry Styles first. It said take that. Like, how dramatic. again after I just broke off the engagement and I'm trying to become Harry Styles <sighs> there's so much drama I mean yeah let's keep the baby because I want more drama so let's name him like <sighs> let's name him Christian what am I spelling Christian because he's gonna need Jesus with all this drama in the family my happiness is way up there, but my smarts is way down low because I'm not too smart, clearly. She's pregnant again! Oh my god, like, is there an option to get her fixed? Because this girl needs to calm down, like... What do I look like trying to become Harry Styles with three kids? I feel like I should abort it. I mean, I would never do this in real life, but this is the purpose of the game, right? I think I'm going to abort it because I want some tea. I'm tired of having children right now. You made your girlfriend Kiara get an abortion. I mean, she's an independent woman. I didn't make her get an abortion. Calm down. Your girlfriend Kiara asked you to marry her again. We've been together 13 years. She wants to marry me. I mean, I just, I just told her to get an abortion to our third child. I guess at least I can marry her. Car giveaway. Wow, thank you. I don't want a free car. Yeah, let's just give away the free car, even though I have two children and this chick that keeps dragging me into marrying her and no job but we're gonna give the free car away um yes i want the car my fiance is demanding me to get married again okay let's plan the wedding i guess because she's being dramatic you mean we're negative five grand but we'll have a wedding my because we don't got money but let's see what happens you don't have enough money yeah i know that Your fiancé wants to break up with you. I mean, I tried to do that before, and she just asked me to marry her again, so... Her fault for wasting time on me. We're gonna wish her well, like, bye, I'm not playing games with you no more. While out riding your bike, you encounter a cocktail server looking smug. What will you do? Start an argument with her, ignore her, or assault her. You just assault someone because they looked smug. I mean, but I'm going to do it anyways because fun. More where that came from. You assault. You scraped her stomach, you popped her eyeball, you pounded her forearm, and you walloped her... <laughs> you walloped her clitoris. What does that even mean? I want to know what walloping someone's clitoris means. I'm going to Google that later. I'm facing a year in prison for assaulting her. It's not my fault. She was looking glum. I mean, I'm going to, I don't have money, so I'm going to have to go with the public defender. I don't have money for a lawyer. Oh my God, this is stressful. You've been convicted of assault and sentenced to a year in prison. Okay. That's fun. Freaking wallop a girl's clitoris one time and freaking end up in jail. Dude, I'm 40 years old and I have negative 20 grand. What's going on with my children? Are they good? 
Ooh, this girl named Sierra Twain asked me on a date. Who says you can't fall in love at 50 years old? And she got coin. I mean, she's older than me and she's not that cute, but she's... Yes, date her. Because you need money. Sierra asked you to marry her. Dude, this guy has something going for him. I don't know what it is. He's negative 50 grand in debt. He doesn't have a job. He has children where I don't know where they are. Never went to school. Assaulted a woman's clitoris. And yet everybody still wants to marry him. Like... Sweetie, he must be good in bed. Let's accept the proposal this time. I mean, I accepted it last time too, but she was rushing me. Your fiance is encouraging you to get a job. Oh my god. Finally, somebody tells him to get a job. Yes, get a job. You're negative. <laughs> Okay, anyways, what kind of job can he get? I mean, he's not going to get a decent job because he's been arrested. He never went to college. Pretty much has nothing going for him. Um, Let's try a porn cameraman. I mean, that's... A oh my god, I was literally denied as a porn cameraman. Like, what else can this man do? If you can't be a porn cameraman, what can you do? Well, couldn't get a job in the porn industry, but at least I'm a janitor, so fun. Dude, my happiness is at 4%. But I'm still good looking, so. Your fiance is demanding you to get married. Yes, let's plan the wedding. You need as much help as you can get. Um, You're going to have to do it at the drive through wedding chapel and you're not gonna have a honeymoon, sorry. Maybe when you're not 45 grand in debt, we could talk about it. I don't even have $265 to get married. I've been diagnosed with depression. That's fun. Oh, dude, this poor guy can't even get married. He's so in debt. Like, he, his wedding only costs less than $300, and he still can't do it. That's sad. And oh my god, she keeps demanding that I get married, and I don't have money. But if I break up with her, this dude's gonna go even more into depression. And he might die. What else am I gonna do? I have to break up with her. I don't have money. Now I have anxiety. That's great. A person dressed as a superhero has told you he needs you to bring the contents of a duffel bag to India. He said he will give you 16200 upon completion. Will you help? Yeah. That's sketchy, but we need money, guy. You're about to die. You need to come out of debt before you die, at least, so... Hopefully you don't get arrested for this drug deal, but you're fine. I died. I died $6,000 in debt. I never got to see money. I went through like two divorces, an abortion. I was a teen father. I had one job as a janitor. I don't know where my kids went. Who knows what happened to them? I mean, I know they had like jobs and stuff. I skimmed through that briefly, but like, where were they? This poor guy. He never had a chance, let's be real. Anyways, guys, thank you so motherfucking much for watching this video. I really hope you guys liked it. Uh, it was pretty fun. It was really dramatic, but it was fun. And I would probably play it again if I'm just, like, sitting somewhere bored one day or, like, with somebody. I might show them the game or whatever and see what their life is like on the game. What am I talking about?
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching again. Sorry about this trash equality. I love you and goodbye. I don't know why I always do that, but I mean, I'll just stick with it now.